Hey there, this guide is about the art of switching in Overwatch. Counterplaying your opponents is a big part of the game, but some situations are hard to judge, including dropping ult charge or swapping a combo potential. By the end of this guide, you should be more confident in your character changes. Let's get to it. Hello guys and welcome to the dojo. Understanding soft and hard counters should be natural for anyone if you play enough. However, if you're in doubt, you should really consider looking up the counters to your most played characters, as this information is vital for this guide. We're going to talk about general guidelines in connection with character switching, and see some examples with different hero classes. In case you have any specific questions that we didn't cover, feel free to ask them in a the comment below. Alright, before we begin, we want to talk about a few things. These come up a lot during games, and waste a lot of time and potential. The first and most common mistake is saying, I'll switch after my ultimate. In some situations, keeping the ultimate is vital, especially if you can combo it effectively with a teammate, and it has team-wide potential, like Zarya and Hanzo. However, there are a lot of situations where your ult can be sacrificed to have a better team comp or counter a specific hero. If you've been keeping the ult for a more extended period, looking for the right time to use it but fail to do so, don't hug your ultimate. Just swap using the guidelines we're going to provide in a second. The second most common thing that we hear is, I can't play that hero. If everyone says that, the problem that your team is facing won't be resolved. If you are counterpicking, for example, the hero's presence alone can be threatening enough to allow your team to make plays instead of being stuck in the same position for minutes. Switching to a hero that you're not actively playing should be seen as an opportunity. The next one is saying, it's too late to make a difference, I'll stick with my hero. If you are storming the enemy station again and again and failing miserably, there must be a problem somewhere. In a lot of cases, these can be resolved with an original pick. Don't be hesitant to change a hero and try a different comp. It might just be the thing that turns the tides in your favor. Alright, let's get to the situations where you should consider trading heroes. Take these tips with a grain of salt, as we can't cover all possible conditions here. These are, however, the most common issues that can be resolved with a good change in the lineup. We're beginning with the most common cases, team-related issues. The first one is filling in the group. This should be obvious, but an incomplete team is a weak team. If you have a single off healer without burst healing capabilities, you're going to have a tough time taking up longer team fights. Swapping to support is the proper call here. Now, we know that this topic is sensitive, so it's entirely your call what to do. Sometimes sticking with your main that you're performing well with is the right call. Other times, filling for the team might be the best thing to do. The next one is countering an enemy hero. If the enemies run a lineup that has some kind of advantage, you're going to have a hard time as a team. The most common example is the presence of a pharmacy, or a hard carry Genji. Swapping to threaten the enemies, or to counterplay them, is one of the most overlooked things in the swapping related topics. You can get some good free kills with a good swap, then winning the team fight and the objective, snowballing your lead. When the team is stalled, it's usually a good idea to stop and see what can be done about it. A good example is two CP maps, like Hanamore and Volskaya, where sometimes the defenders can hold for ages. Changing the lineup is usually the answer in these situations. If you're the first one communicating this to your team and going ahead to swap to a better alternative, they'll often follow your lead, because the situation frustrates them enough to be more cooperative. Lastly, if the teammates are not cooperating at all, and you're missing combo opportunities with basic abilities and ultimates, you could just change to a hero that could save your allies, it's often a good idea to swap. Getting Azaria to bubble a brain-dead Doomfist will help him get kills and provide you with a ton of charge. Salvage what you can. Okay, the next category of swapping tips are role-related tips and decisions. Oftentimes there are better alternatives to your current hero choice. If you're having a hard time getting close to the enemies, you might be lacking shields, so let's get a tank who can withstand punishment long enough to reach the enemies. If teammates go down too early in fights, it might be a lack of sustain. If you play a sniper or DPS, but you're facing unbreakable shields, it's a good idea to swap. Realizing that you're having a hard time doing your job because you're not running the best hero is hard, but can be done if you pay attention to the kill feed and your surroundings. There are some rare situations where players get matched unevenly, for example everyone maining supports. There are some fishy comps that you can get away with, but these usually need coordination. Playing four or more of the same role is often a lousy call. Consider reorganizing the team structure and switching to another character if required. The last topic that we're covering is about yourself. 
Let's see what can happen that indicates a good time to switch. The first one in this category is when someone or multiple opponents decide to make your life a living hell. An excellent duo can do this more efficiently, focusing the same target and not letting you breathe. However, sometimes a single player can make it really hard for you to stay alive by outmaneuvering and generally outplaying you. If this happens, switch as quickly as possible. Time spent dead is the worst thing that can happen to you. Avoid it by getting a safe pick. Lastly, there is a thing that we need to mention. However, we know a lot of you don't want to really hear about it. Underperforming happens to everyone. Every once in a while, you don't hit your shots with Widowmaker, fail to land the healing nades on your teammates, or get stunlocked on the front line. These things happen, and if you feel like you're underperforming, switch to something else. Don't mind the others. You and the team will be better off if you're playing something else. Thanks for your attention. We hope that we managed to give you a good idea about the different situations when you should consider switching your hero. If you love the content, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. We have a Discord community that is dedicated to improvement. Join it by clicking the card right now. If you want to support our work and get professional coaching in return, head over to our Patreon page. See you guys in the next one. Sometimes you have to join for sex.